If any of you would like to know more about that organization, Theater for Young Audiences USA, come to me or Chris, where are you? Chris Moses from the Alliance Theater. He's also a board member. Is there any other board members? Okay, and we can let you know about that too. But right now, I would like to welcome Jennifer Windsor from Shakespeare Festival.
situated in a suburban region. It's bordered by St. Louis City, which is one of my borders. And then I have relatively affluent school districts that border me. And I am a mix of that all. And the housing stock is interesting because now MRH is a very popular place to live. So we have
Teachers facilitate the learning. Students become docents. It's a fabulous thing to see the entire building convert into a museum. Now we move on to the middle school. School of Apprenticeship, excuse me, I don't want to see the name, of Expedition and Expeditionary Learning. That model allows students to explore the world. So we spend about 40% of our learning experiences outside of school. We have local expeditions and we have expeditions within the United States. We go to the Smoky Mountains, we go to the Mississippi Beach, and we have interdisciplinary units that we experience when we're there. So remember the dichotomy that we have in the space of the have and the have not. We want those rich experiences shared so that we can have that experience together and build on it. <coughs> so it's incredible when you have children side by side doing research on salamanders in the Smoky Mountains. Real research, they contribute to the body of scientific research out there. That's what we're providing our students. And then finally, when they're in high school, the apprenticeship model, job shadowing, career fairs, and towards the end of their time in the high school, an apprenticeship. And we have partners with our local businesses, with engineers, with the fire department, with uh, the computer programming development, architects. We have so many wonderful <coughs> partners that we can expose our students to so they can have a general idea of what the real world is going to be like and really where they want to go if they decide to go to college. They have more of a realistic pathway. So that is what we designed. And if you go to the next slide,
goes <laughs> un you know, wasted. We used every opportunity. And they have embraced us. Next slide. Another part of uh, what we do that's important to us is the value at Maplewood Richmond Heights are our spaces. You know, once upon a time, our spaces were uh, a lot to be desired. And over time, and the community wrapped around us and passed bond issues, so we're thank you um, for that, um, to <coughs> ensure that our space is inspiring for people, that we use natural light, that, and I know some people come say it's really crazy, but we, we don't like cluttered spaces, a lot of store bought Thank <laughs> you. 
EOCA is equity oriented change agent. It's a mouthful, so EOCA. So next slide. someone who's an ally and say, <laughs> and then come back. 
if you go into the work and you see a family, you see a family struggling, you just don't see the negative. You believe that there are positive things and aspects in that family or in that child. If you walk and talk and you believe that, that will happen. It's so important in education especially, because we can get stuck. Oh, they're three grade levels below. They'll never get there. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, that's deadly. You can't do that. You have to find the assets and then build on them. It's critical. So you've seen evidence of focus. I like my models. And I have more of them. And I repeat things all the time. <laughs> but it's important. But I can also back it up. You have to have stru structure in order to have flexibility. Because life happens. In this political climate right now, I've had so many things. I've had a series of left things since 2014 when Michael Brown was killed. I cannot get over all of the traumatic events that have happened locally and nationally. School shootings, walkouts. Life happens, but we have to stay focused. You don't ignore it, you acknowledge it. You have those seven steps on how we approach this work, and you continue to do the right thing. Next slide. I love this. <coughs> But you have to have focus. You have to be persistent. Patient, but not too patient. Just the hard thing about being a leader is knowing that balance. Have your antenna up. You'll feel it. Because sometimes you have to have those courageous conversations and say, uh-uh, no. Hard conversations. Or let's talk about this. Tell me what happened to you. Why do you feel that way? So again, I am so impressed and so honored to be with you because of the work that you're doing. I love Metro Theater. I do. I truly do. Um, I've been partners with them for several years, and they reinforce what we do. It's like you know we're cut from the same cloth, and uh, I just encourage you to think about that. You can do this. You are doing this, and we need you to do this. Coming from the education world. Thank you so much.
that shared experience. And it's when I say it's expected, the children know that they're going to have this time together. It's not where they're separate, like, oh, I've never done this before, and oh, yeah, I go to Hawaii every year. I mean, they expect to have these experiments in the wilderness together. And, and they look forward to it, all of them together. Some they'll say, oh, no, they all love having that, that moment together to learn. It's just like going to the computer lab. It's like, it's expected. This is what we do. When you spoke of the leadership for social justice and democracy, were you speaking that you guys also develop tools or instruments to measure in school and look at change? So that particular book is uh, a compilation of different authors. And one section is from that blue section, which talks about equity audits. Okay. okay? And so in the equity audit book, it outlines how you can look at different aspects of education. Mm -hmm. And I leave it up to my building administrator with you know, collaboration with me. We talk about the problem of practice <coughs> and they develop a theory of change. So that's the beginning process. The book helped us develop our tool that is personalized for our space. And really the rubber that hits the ground is the data you know, educators, we like to admire problems and talk about it, but we have to develop an actual method of saying, what are your steps that you're going to put in place, and did that work? You have to have a data collection component, and then you do an analysis of that. And my, my administrators also go before the Board of Education with their, their audit process to share what their outcomes were. So with the problem of practice, are you doing ground rounds where teams are visiting and looking for data? Is it okay? Well, that's it. So that's uh, their equity audits is an action step now of their theory of change. Okay? And we do use instructional rounds, but that can't, and we've done that with other administrators. I love it when the high school is in the early childhood and we're both sharing, you know, information. But uh, no, not for the auditing piece. That's in-house, and they work on that um, with their teams. Yes, there's two more questions, and I'm gonna say those in the comments too. And then we'll move um, the, the slide with the sign face on the sign basis. How is this kind of structure change the dynamics of your staff and the retention? Are you sign finding your staff stays at your school longer, or do you do anything like that? How does it affect
So that is the outcome of this. And being this, the yellow case, to support the administrators to do that when times are rough. Those are the tools. That's what has happened for us, for us to know I was really struck by the slide of the 50-50 that are on free or reduced lunch. Yeah. So I'm just curious, and, and also um, resonated with this idea of space and how you negotiate your space. So I'm curious of what practices you might put in place on like a day-to-day -day basis or how the space is negotiated to kind of address that divide and how like lunch might feel. Um, well, it's 